subscribe to the channel and like the video. As we age, our ability to learn slows. I would like yes, to say sure. that uh, I, I have um, talked about experience and practice uh, before it was not intended it is really casual uh, oh. and uh, i'm happy that also milena is uh, uh, highlighting these points uh, so you can right. have a different version of this thank you thank you thanks to you roberta so just to remind that i hope that now is a little bit more clear clear practice and experience okay so don't be afraid and as we age our ability to learn slow down so i suppose all of you are a little bit younger than me so please practice enjoy okay because uh, age uh, will give you um, a sort of um, less ability okay i don't want to say uh, definitely but could be and now i can explain why communication skills are a long-term procedural memory it's something that i always repeat to my clients or students or whatever okay long-term procedural memory so it's something that is deep it's something that is profound intense it, go deep in ourselves become our second nature i always say keep practicing keep flowing and it will become your second nature something that happens and you don't know exactly how but it is happening okay so I really want to do something very funny uh, because I love colors and I love different situations because sometimes that is not, you know, very simple and easy. But you need to imagine to start to ride a bike like a kid or like you were a kid, okay? Does not require thinking. No, you don't need to think how to ride the bicycle, okay? If you think too much, mm, doesn't work. Is it, very, it is very difficult to transfer the know-how. How I can, can I ride a bicycle? How? How? You can talk for hours and hours, but if you don't practice it, if it doesn't become a long-term procedural memory, you will never be able to do that. Many of you probably, uh, you know, stop and say, I'm not riding a bicycle since 10 years. Why am I able to ride a bicycle after 10 years? That's this long-term procedural memory. So there is no way to explain how with words. You need to practice. You need your body to be involved, your senses. And once learned, it's very difficult to change the reaction. Uh, I'm now creating, you know, a sort of relationship between the, you know, riding a bike and uh, the interpersonal communication is the same okay in a simple way um, if you decide to change your direction with the bike left and right you need to switch it will be very very hard not only for the brain but first of all for the procedural memory okay that is deeper and uh, so learning um, a good start is half a battle english people say so if you start well you will surely have a great result because change in the future the reaction it will not be easy that's a very important part of my job many people comes has got a specific voice have got a specific way to breathe and stuff and uh, they are not able to switch to the new one so i need to go deeper find the wrong key and try to substitute with the right one but it requires a lot of experience from my point of view to find that direction to you know free my client with the voice and with the communication okay all of these okay these two kids that are you know on the bike uh, defines success or failure 
So success or failure. Are you taking your communication skills for granted? Mm, I don't like this thing. Never. We have a voice. Yes, everybody can speak. I always listen to people say to that. I have a voice. I can speak. That's not true. It's an instrument. If you use it well, you get back a lot of results. You can imagine how many. Okay. So don't take it for granted. Why? Because I, you know, I like colors, light with colors. Get back to this situation. Imagine different environments, okay? And this could be your different situation where you need to train your interpersonal communication. You can, you know, be, you can be on a unicycle, okay? Hanging by a thread, all right? Uh, and you're not able to do something. That's the same thing. You can be in front of the boss and you're very afraid. You don't know what to say. And you try to balance yourself and say, oh, what can I say? What about my voice? What about the communication that I'm doing? I don't know what to do. Okay? So don't take for granted. You can be on sand. Okay? And it will be hard if you want to spin on your pedals and move. It's impossible. And could be a communication that people can in some way think that you are not in the right environment, you are too shy. You can be on a sort of uh, ice and you can sleep on the ice, okay? You don't feel yourself comfortable. And you can have a sort of hand bike. So you don't need to use your legs by your hands. These are just some ideas of um, why you don't need to take your voice and your communication skills for granted, especially your voice. You need to be elastic. You need to be very flexible, malleable, okay, tactile, because there is a lot involved in this interpersonal communication. And there is always more to learn, but with fun. Never forget that. I love to learn with fun. Learning is adventure. Learning is adaptive, okay? And learning is advantage, a very huge advantage. Where to learn communication skills? We have got the theory from written and recorded sources, okay? Language, grammar, vocabulary, and so forth. Then we have got the practice from mentors and interpersonal communication. That is a very important value. I can speak just about voice because I am a voice coach and so voice for me is the key. And you have discovered today that is more than 75 of our interpersonal communication. Voice volume, voice tone, voice rhythm and so forth. I can stay hours and hours. Don't think that voice is just volume, tone and rhythm, please, okay? I need probably another lesson to explain better the importance of the voice, considering that there are different nuances, okay? And I like very much this part of the slide. As your mentor is the best, you can become the best, especially in communication. So you can decide to be enough, good, better, or best. Why? Because when you're learning from a mentor that is very good, you are learning from his or her own procedural memories. Do you remember the, I can't explain the know-how, the two kids with the bikes, okay? Same thing. And leaders spend 10 to 50% of their time mentoring future leaders mentoring so stay side by side and get the meaning interpersonal communication so now we have a summary a resume okay or what i have said uh, till now but especially to have a clear idea for you self-confidence from experience and engage in delivering the message is something that will give you back a success and lack of confidence and engaging, controlling the delivery, controlling the delivery. No, okay? It's wrong. So 
in the positive part, we have the ability to listen, ability to tune with someone that is talking with you. Not only tune, consider it the tone in music, harmony. No, it's more deeper. Okay, you need to be involved, more sensible and sensitive. Okay, elasticity, social decentering. Many people doesn't know that, so I want to explain a little bit. When people, someone is able to, I don't want to say understand, but is able to um, fit himself or herself in a group well, okay, he feels at ease. So you're not thinking about you. You are thinking about the environment. You are part of the group. Ability to wait the right moment. In voice especially is very important. It's not just a, a matter of when I need to stop or restart, you know, pay attention to the rhythm. Empathizing. And on the other side, we have overthinking. I always suggest don't think too much. Don't overthink, okay? The brain shut down in some way and the voice go in a different direction overreacting mm, no this is not good the message the delivery of the message is totally wrong information overload you speak too much and the other one is not following you anymore imposing yourself inability to wait the right moment listener apprehension many of my clients has got this problem do you know uh, so what it is is uh, exactly I'm thinking what the other one is thinking about me. I'm thinking, oh, what is happening? What they are thinking about me? If you start to think like that, you know what will happen, okay? So just to nearly finish this uh, um, participation, I want to explain very clearly, voice takes 75%, 75%, 75% of interpersonal communication. And I can see more because sometimes we write a WhatsApp and we don't know how to talk with the other person that is saying, I didn't understand your WhatsApp, I didn't understand your text message. So you need to use the voice again to explain because the voice has got exactly this different vibes and people can feel more than think the real emotion of the other one so uh it's not what you say but it's how 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 you say it communication skills are not gauged in moments of comfort but in moments of challenge and controversy so if you want to live up uh, consider that and if you want to live up a challenge or you want to improve and really you want to enjoy it so there are many things to say a lot okay so I just suggest to everybody and now I'm trying to come back to me okay that my book that you have already seen there is the mm, you can find everything there that I'm saying because the the argument is very huge is a broad spectrum uh, argument and it is a broad situation that you can really consider the voice not just a simple instrument but a very important key of our interpersonal communication so I hope to be uh, in the right time Roberta so I have a lot of clocks around me so suppose that it's finished and i hope that everybody has got uh, my can you tell me something yes. roberta yes thank you milena uh, we have followed you uh, clearly uh, we appreciated your um, uh, presentation do you have any question that you would like to ask to Milena? The importance of the voice for uh, interpersonal communication. Yeah, it is a very important aspect and you have shown us uh, uh, the situation 
when uh, it is uh, important uh, to be able to manage uh, the voice uh, to improve your communication. So I think uh, we can stop here and uh, see you next week uh, with you. And uh, uh, thank you very much, Milena, for uh, have been with us. And uh, we will see uh, later on. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks to all of you. Uh, thanks, Professor Roberta. And I hope that you enjoy that and that you start to practice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye from Boston. Bye. 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 Subscribe to the channel and like the video.